Bloomies are forever. Good morning. Happy Tuesday morning, everyone. At least it's Tuesday here in my world. My name is Melissa and I am a part-time reseller. This shipping video is meant to be slow and a bit informative and relaxing mostly. I sell on eBay part-time and so I do a lot of my shipping online and I bring you along for the journey. We have so many package toppers. People keep sending them to me and I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> thank you. You don't have to, but thank you. We have basket charms in the initials D and B. We have pendants. I have so many little leaves and hair ties, of course. I made some up in autumn colors. A lot of washi. If you haven't seen your packing supplies yet, please know I have two full drawers and I will get there. I will be happy to use them. I am happy to use them. I still have some initial ribbon that Misty sent me. Some cute little cat tags, which is perfect because I have cat tissue paper. Post-its, I just ripped off a bunch. These say, remember. Who doesn't love a good vinyl sticker? Got a bunch of those. And I think that's it in this. Bunch, bunch hair ties. We have ribbons and twines. Should I show you the ribbon? <laughs> this is what it looks like. It doesn't, it's very messy, but it's definitely usable. And I'll probably go with that ribbon. I have a few more options, but if we don't have the initial, I'll just default to the silver today. And my business card it says, you are enough. You are so enough. It is unbelievable how enough you are. So today I have four items that sold on eBay. I actually have five, but somebody hasn't paid yet. And I'm going to give them a few more days before eBay opens the automatic case. They're vintage Ralph Lauren pants and they haven't sold for a while and I get offer after offer. I think these just tend to attract non-payers, honestly. So we will start with an item that actually paid. It is an Italian wool scarf my husband and I found at the Goodwill bins. It sold for $28.99 as a buy it now and it took about a month or two months to sell. It's going to Eric in Massachusetts and he paid $4.99 to ship it. And here it is, it's right here. It is really soft. I am not a wool person, and even this is not making me like, I wouldn't want it on my skin, but it's, it's okay to touch. <laughs> the brand name is A-L-T-E-A, -E made in Italy. Now this was a dry clean only, and a lot of people ask how I wash my items or if I wash my items eBay does state that items must be clean. So for anything like this that is dry clean only or a little bit more delicate in nature, I do not put them in a washing machine. My husband, mostly my husband, sometimes I steam items. I find that's a really good option as steaming kills a lot of the germs. This really did appear new, so I just hit it with a little bit of Lysol and a light steam. I'm just going to fold it like this. I'm not going to fold it in half. You could, no judgment, but I'm going to keep it nice and straight. It's a really dark kind of gray flannel color. Really pretty. We are going to put this, I think we're going to go for a slightly bigger bag. Same reason, just not wanting to have the fold marks in there. Yes, that's much better. This is a 12 by 15. And let's flip you down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I think that'll work. Move our keyboard up. That's a good call. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to slip this in here for protection. The other day I ordered something for my niece who's 10. She's coming next week with her mom and dad. And I ordered her a sweatshirt from a very famous YouTuber. Should I say the name? It won't matter. Mariah Elizabeth. And it's a white sweatshirt and they put it in a white poly mailer with no protection. I was 
it's okay. It had a little bit of dust. I just cleaned it off. Um, and I'm not going to say anything, but I was surprised that such a big YouTuber would just put a white sweatshirt in a white poly mailer. But it was okay. So if you do that, it worked out okay. I should cut that story completely. We are going to use a bird print tissue paper. This is half of a sheet that one of my subscribers sent me and I cut down. And let's grab a piece of washi. I think this mermaid print is fun. All of the tissue paper I'm using today is Jilson rubber tissue paper. I buy mine from eBay. This particular sheet was sent to me. I know how many people like Jilson Roberts. The quality is so nice. And close out, if you search Jilson Robert close out tissue paper, or just look at the link below. I have an affiliate link. The price is $35 on Prime for 240 pieces. And if you cut down a piece and just use it even in the middle, obviously you get 480, double the amount that way. I think the cost isn't bad, but again, Compared to not using t tissue paper, it is more expensive. Okay, so let's see what kind of package topper. Let's just put some leaves for decoration. Stick them in the corners. And I don't have an E. Maybe a Vinyl World sticker. And a business card. So many things going on here. There we are. The orange matches nicely with the birds, as does the yellow. And because this is so lightweight, it is definitely under 16 ounces. I'm going to ship this first class mail. Oh yeah, 5.1 without the packaging. And for first class mail, I have poly mailers. You can find these most everywhere. <laughs> Um, you Pack and Ship is one of my favorite companies. That's Corey. She has a website and she stays really, ooh, I've got even some hollow mallards. She still stays really competitive with her pricing. And I think I'm going to go for a bigger poly mallard today. I don't have my aqua by my side, so I'm going to use one of these green poly mallards. And you will need to supply your own packaging with first class mail. The USPS does not have any free packaging. They should come up with some. We're still using the post office. There we are. That would have fit in a 12 by 15, but like I said, I didn't have any, so I folded this over. And let's give this away now that we have the packaging on. It is exactly six ounces, so that's what I'm gonna go with. An update. eBay, when you hit pack, what is even this called? When you go to the eBay main page and hit print shipping label, it takes you to the page where you need to type in the measurements. So that's nice, it kind of walks you through. And first class is the first option right on top. He should get this in about seven days. I'd be shocked if it took that long. He's in Massachusetts and I'm in Florida. And my cost is $3.36. And first class mail online through eBay or most other places goes up to 16 ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase and print in the down corner. And I have the Dymo 450 Turbo. If you're just printing, just printing, to your regular printer, you can just hit print. I need to open the label and switch my printer and print. It was rainy this morning, but now it is gorgeous. My husband and I went into the heated pool. Mind you, it's 84 degrees um, in the pool, but we went and hung out the pool two nights ago with some neighbors, which was fun. Even 15, 20 minutes feels good sometimes. Thank you, Evan. And with my sister coming next week, I'm so glad the weather so far is holding. She should be able to swim. The next item are a pair of Oshkosh Bagosh vintage children's overalls in a size seven. Here they are. These are adorable. They have a little bit 
of like a, an error, a stitching error, which I mentioned and took photos of. And then kind of just a little bit of a lightened area right there. You can see it's got like a white mark. So I always disclose the flaws. I wouldn't even consider that a flaw. I'm sure it would come out in washing. It's just a little bit of an area that was folded. Because past that, they're in really good shape. Now they're in really good shape. Had a little bit of a thread. So Carlos in Texas purchased these. He paid $11. I think I had these at $19.99. Didn't sell on auction. I never know with vintage items. I'm not really a vintage seller. And then I lowered the price to $14.99. Buy it now. And then I just sent an offer for $11. And Carlos accepted. And he paid $7.99 for shipping. And I put the price of $7.99 in there. He'll be so proud of me. I weighed this item when I was listing. I hardly ever do that. I'm really lazy about that, so I just guess. These were, let's do a whole button. These were one pound, 0.1 ounces. So with the packaging, these will definitely be over a pound. But honestly, I didn't know if this was gonna be first class or priority. So it has to go priority with the one pound, anything over 16 ounces. I mean like really over 16 ounces. 16 ounces can still go first class, but 1.01 .01 has to go priority mail. And the cheapest cost for me is 733. I'm gonna see if these fit in a little bit of a different mailer, and I'll tell you why here soon. But he paid $7.99 for shipping. So let's put these in plastic. I think these are gonna fit in a 10 by 13, if I fold them correctly. tissue shall we use? Let's use some pineapple. Again, half a sheet. And the mermaid absolutely matches this time. I put makeup on this morning and I keep feeling my eyelashes. I put eyelashes on just Feel my eyelashes. Okay. And let's get a piece of this crazy ribbon. <laughs> it's just like falling off the roll at this point. Is it long enough? No, it's not. And let's get a piece of this ribbon. This is completely my fault, but I took off the, um, I cut down the cardboard because it usually makes it easier, but then I dropped it and it just kind of <laughs> unspooled itself to the point I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to fix this at some point, but not today. Don't have to do that today. what would work there and Texas is probably children or child wearing this let's see I don't have a C let's do a cat tag this is just stinking adorable It says celebrate. There's two cats. It's like a Victorian aqua polka dot. Let's do that there. Okay. And the background of this tissue paper has that same silver metallic. And this is also Jelson Roberts raffia. Now, I know I brought it over. This is the, it says flat rate envelope, but it's padded. And you can only find these on the USPS and through eBay. The shipping charge for me is $7.33. So anything I can fit in here, stuff in here, 
will cost $7.33. And I can use this um, domestically up to 70 pounds or internationally up to four pounds. So that's a great option. This is a slightly cheaper option and I don't talk about this a lot. It's cardboard, which would absolutely be, be which would absolutely, it's cardboard, which would be fine with my packages, especially because I put them in plastic. It'd probably be fine without plastic. I don't use these often because they're hard to stuff and the seal has to be flat. So you can't get much in there. I, we'll, we'll try it. And this option, I forget what these are called. These are called a flat rate envelope. It's right on top. It says what it is. The cost is six. 75 so these are cheaper than the padded the padded just make for a little bit better presentation and are easier on me but let's let's see now it looks like it fits but the issue is seems to be when I fold it. I would definitely need a piece of tape across there in my opinion. It's it's just not great, but it's doable if you want to go that option. Definitely doable, especially if you have a thinner item that's heavier. That would work really well, but I'm going to slip this into this padded flat rate. And again, this is for over 16 ounces. It's just so much easier. I love this option. So I have to find the padded flat rate, $7.33. And I already said he paid $7.99. Purchase and print. Print and print. And he is borrowing a neighbor's pressure washer today. And it's gonna pressure wash all of our stone. You know, he likes doing that kind of thing. Thanks, Carlos. I have my mail carrier picking up our mail today. It is just before nine o'clock, so he should be here, I'm gonna say within an hour. The next two items are our old cell phones. We upgraded, we bought the same phones used on eBay, but unfortunately my screen cracked after us, us taking care of our phones and putting out our boxes and glass screen protectors and a spam call is coming through. We could ignore that. And we were filming and at the end my husband stood up and he had his mic connected and the, it fell flat only a couple feet, but it cracked the screen. So we listed our phones. We bought new phones. We probably paid about a hundred dollars each for a phone. That was the difference. So my phone sold for $121.50 plus shipping, and that's the one I'm going to find. I kept them both <laughs> in one of these bags. And I added a few extras to each, so I have to figure out which gets which. Let's open this up, find the cracked phone. Okay, that's his. Carefully put that down. Okay, so this is mine. Yep, womp womp, such a good phone. I don't know if you can see the crack, but it just, just shattered the screen. It still works, it still works fine, but yep probably could have used it. The, the crack didn't bother me all that much, but his was having a little bit of issues too. So, the phone, the lens cleanser, the this charger, this charger, I think the rest of these go with his phone. So let me get this out of here. That's that. And I know one of the phone customers wanted some kind of number messaged. So I'm going to check, see if it's this one. It isn't. So I can wrap this one. 
I am going to put a lot of bubble wrap and of course put this in a box. So we already have our new phones. That was a pain to switch over. We'll just put a little washi around that. It was an all day thing for us to try to figure out what apps we had and log into all of the apps. I'm sure anybody that has new phones understands. I thought every app would just switch over, but no, none of them did. Double bubble back. And let's tie it off. Since we have so many ribbons hanging off, let's grab one of those. And I will put this, of course, in a plastic bag. With all of the wires. everything, all the wires, everything. And I did charge the person for priority mail. I charged them $10 so I can include insurance. And I'll walk you through how to do this. So this is going to Guadalupe in Texas. They paid $121.50 plus $9.99 for shipping. So I'm going to, let's first tissue paper it. You know what? I might double, I'm not taking a chance. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in a second. I really don't want moisture to get in here. Okay, now we will add tissue paper. Use the bird print. And a ribbon. doctor today to get my next lidocaine injection lined up for next week right before my sister comes that way I'll be able to eat a little bit easier and we will give them I do not have a G everybody likes some free stuff we will give them a black hair tie which could also be used it's just a cord corral. Put it over the business card and slip it in there. There we are. And I'm going to put this in a box. I'm going to use one of these adorable ivy boxes that I ordered. Use some eBay tape. Brand new roll today. down for now. Great, that fits very nicely. and then one piece perpendicular, perpendicularly. <laughs> Let's give this away. This might be a pound. It is 15 ounces, so I could have officially sent it first class mail, but I chose priority mail specifically so it had the insurance, and I'm going to add extra insurance. So I'm gonna round up to one pound, because if I put in six ounces or I put in one pound, the charge will be equal for priority now only. And my cost is $7.76. Now, where is the insurance? Oh, I just have to scroll down. Huh, it's really easy. <laughs> just have to scroll down to the bottom of the page. I can require a signature for $2.60. I can add insurance. There's a little checkbox. And ship, ship, ship cover insurance is $121.50. Oh no, that's not the cost. <laughs> ship cover insurance, ship cover insurance is, oh, 
much is it? How much are you? Did it just add it? I think it just added it. Oh, it's $3.41 for ship cover insurance. I don't want to display the postage on the value, add custom text to the label, add a message. I will add a message to the buyer and say, thanks for the fast payment. Your phone is on the way. And so my cost with the insurance is $11.17. Now I think eBay has its own insurance or the USPS has insurance with eBay. I just don't know if that's up to $50 or up to $100. So I'm gonna Google that, eBay priority mail insurance. Shipping insurance, top rated sellers. So you have to be a top rated seller as well as sellers with at least 300 transactions during the previous month. I do not have 300 transactions. Am I a top rated seller? I think I am. I'm a power seller. Oh, my post office forgot to pick up packages one day and there were a lot of packages and we weren't here, I was at the doctor's all day. I should probably call eBay about that. But anyway, if I was a top rated seller, which I've been in the past, I'm sure will happen again, I receive $100 of insurance for each priority mail label. So because of, I don't have that, I just have $50. So if you're not a top rated seller or if you don't have 300 transactions last month, it is a good idea to purchase the insurance, especially because I charged this person, Guadalupe, $10. So my cost is $11.17. Purchase and print. I really should call eBay about that. I know they'd fix it because all of my defects, all of my, it, I had a two day handling fee and it happened to be a weekend and just sometimes the post office doesn't happen. And print. Doesn't seem to be hurting sales. Stuck on there. Thank you, Guadalupe. And the next item is also a phone. This was my husband's phone. All oh, these little, little things. And his phone did not have a crack in it. He took, I would say he took better care of his phone, but he dropped my phone, so <laughs> it is what it is. And his had some ghost, um, where like applications, apps were showing up even when you went off of them. And his volume was getting sketchy. We just closed all of this. And there was one other small issue. Oh, we couldn't get photos off of it. It would charge, but we couldn't transfer data. So we were using an SD card. It was just like all these little issues, but the volume was what did it for him. Headset volume was having issues. So Katie in Oregon purchased this for $132.50, same $9.99 shipping. But she asked a specific question last night and I wrote her back and said, I don't know this thing. She wanted me to find the IME number and message her. We had T-Mobile wipe our phones. It took them about 45 minutes to get, they weren't able to transfer anything except contacts, which I only have about 12 contacts, but my husband has a ton. So it was good they were able to do that, even if it did take so long. So I asked her um, how to do that. I've never heard of that. I know almost nothing about phones. She said I have to dial a certain number, but the issue is we've wiped the phone. So I, yeah, it goes immediately to the get started. So I'm just gonna tell her the phone is on the way and we had them reset. So let me do that really quickly. Melissa. I'm just gonna leave it at that. 
she didn't message me before that or I would have gladly told her I couldn't have done that if I knew how to do that. <laughs> um, let's do some washi tape. And I hope that's okay. I, I really don't know what else to do. Does it have it on the back? Oh, it has it on the back. I'm such a boob. Thanks, giant sticker. this in a bag and we will wrap it up. Let's put a little bit more before we put it in the bag. And this one included, we had this sitting around a glass screen protector. I'm sure I found it on the Amazon. And I don't know why we didn't use it. We had screen protectors, cord, wall charger, cleaning things, cleaning thing. And for this one, I have a bunch of, oh, it's the food I eat most often. Um, I think they're called rice rolls and I order them straight from the company because they have other flavors. I have to get their sea salt caramel. It's just puffed organic brown rice that's compressed into a roll. Walmart has them, um, but I order them in a hundred packs. So they ship them in a box. I saved this <laughs> and I'm going to simply kind of just create a little bit of a box around this. That was my last, um, box. Good. Let's give it a tape up. Oh, I never, I should do tissue paper. I never did tissue paper. Oh, let's use the cat tissue paper. Look how stinking cute. we can find. little cat that says special day to match the other cats and a business card I was really wondering if I should just slip this in a padded mailer but I don't think I'm going to let's create the box Meller. This is really nicely protected with all of this cardboard. Let's give this away. This might be slightly heavier <laughs> as I drop it. It is one pound three ounces. It had a few more things. So Let's round up to two pounds. Um, let's add insurance. And my cost is $13.95. And again, Katie paid $132.50 plus $10 shipping. And let's put some dimensions of 12 by 10 by 
three. That won't matter too much at that size. Will it? Did that, did that help? Oh, it did help. My cost is only $10.54. That's weird. I don't know why that helped. Okay, we'll take it. Put a little thank you sticker on it. open label and print and print thank you Katie okay part two of this is coming right up just on a different day for me not for you Happy Wednesday morning. I had two sales overnight and we will be packaging them before I go to the doctor this morning. Woke up nice and early, but I'm feeling okay. The first item is a pottery barn. What did I call this? Throw pillow cover linen cotton lumbar long rectangle. <laughs> also, I have no lights on. Pottery barn. I pick up almost everything pottery barn. The only thing I haven't done super well with were embroidered or monogrammed names, like a very specific stocking that said Zachary or something that had somebody's name on it. Unless it's a popular name and you're willing to wait. Mm, chances are that's a, a tough sale. So this person messaged me making sure it was in excellent condition. I wrote it was in excellent, but she wanted to, to check. It absolutely is. I did wash this, I think, because it smells really good. This is hand washable. I think I washed this. Machine wash. I wonder if I hand washed. I feel like I hand washed this. And hung it up. So we will fold this. There's a little hidden bird in there. Do you want to see it? Okay. There it is. I guess it's not too hidden. But when you see the print overall, it doesn't look like a bird print. And this sold for $19. I believe I had it on for $24.99 and I sent somebody an offer. And we found this at the bins. 99% sure of that, pretty sure. And um, this is headed to Brenda in Minnesota. It's MN Minnesota. State abbreviation. It is, I wouldn't know what else that could be. Let's look up Brenda's name. I think Brenda's going to be a name that's back in fashion soon. Celtic meaning, meaning blade of a sword. Huh. Blade of a sword. Oh, I love the name Bryn. That's a spinoff of that name. Okay, so $19 and they paid $4.99 for shipping. This is very lightweight, so we will be shipping it first class mail. Let's put it in a plastic bag. I did schedule a pickup this morning. I have some personal paperwork I'm going to send through the USPS. I used Pirate Ship to ship it. And that way it has a tracking number on it. That's a very helpful thing. Let's see. Let's do some cat paper. and I are opening packages later today if my health stays. Somebody sent me some light pink curling ribbon we'll use. And we opened, I think, four or five packages that I have yet to edit. And then I think we received another four or five this week. So thank you to all of you who are sending packages. I will have an edited video probably within the next week. Wrong way. I have to turn it over first. This is like a salmon pink. Very pretty with the, with the cat ears. I 
think I mentioned this once before, but occasionally we ship, we film a video. We don't ship a video, we film a video. And then for whatever reason, the footage gets lost or the sound quality isn't great. And that's what happened with this last one. But um, we'll be using the last part of it because that was the good part. We are going to put some leaves under here. Leaves, maybe a bright orange one in the middle. Let's do a hair tie if I have like an autumn color. I do. I have a burnt orange hair tie I've made up. Make sure it's nice and straight. I love this color ribbon. pink of the ear. I don't think that ribbon is showing how how salmon it is. And let's oh let's use let's see if I have one of those pink. My bag is stiff. I do. Oh that'll go really nicely with that ribbon. So Holly Nailer. in about 2 a.m. He had two gigs to go to last night. Um, so hopefully he can nap later. It's only 71 degrees here. I wonder how it's supposed to get. It's supposed to be 84 today. That's a little cool. Okay, let's give this away. I had turned that on previously. 9.7, so we round up to 10. Update. And they paid $4.99 shipping, and my cost is $4.06. Purchase and print. I'm gonna sip some water while we do that. I like to drink one of these in the morning as soon as I wake up. Open label. Print. And change the label maker and print. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to reprint that. That's no big deal. And here's why. I set up my Dymo last night for the gazillionth time just so I could make a video about it. And I must not have lined up the labels correctly. So all I have to do is go back to the eBay page. If I hadn't close that so quickly I could just hit reprint. Go to shipping labels. It's the last one I printed top of the list and reprint. Here we are. Print. There we go. Much better. Lined up perfectly. Did I cover that? Lined up perfectly. I love the sounds of the morning. The birds, people walking. You can have up to, I think, a 25 pound dog here. It's just people like, I guess I don't hear them so much as just see them. We live next to the clubhouse and the pool, and there's a school, um, a private school with a soccer field next door. So even though it's busy here, um, it's quite rural and, and we're on a dead end, so that's nice. But I hear the the garbage truck in the background and the birds. The next item and our last item that paid, I had two orders that went unpaid. One of them is not going to pay. I already knew that though. Um, and the other person I sent an offer, they accepted, but for some odd reason, they didn't pay right away. I have a good feeling about that though. This is a nip tuck swimsuit in a woman's tin. I got this at the half-off Goodwill sale. Swimsuits do fairly well for me. This one sold for $14.99, probably within a month of me putting it up. And this is headed to Deborah. Because this has a molded cup, I'm going to grab look at some metallic silver. Make a little ball. 
And then we will put that in the middle. And because I wash swimsuits, other than new tags, which would get steamed, I keep these hygienic liners. I buy them in a lot of, I think probably a hundred on eBay, very cheaply. And I'm going to put that in the downstairs area. And that way it's not new, I'm not pretending it's new, but it has been washed and it's nice and clean. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. Tuck in these straps. This swimsuit has a little bit of a heft to it because it's fully lined and the material is really nice. I'm just gonna kind of roll it up and keep the paper between the cups. And then I'll leave the air in the bag, of course, so it doesn't get smushed down. And the shipping cost was $4.99. I don't know if I said that. Good. That's got quite a bit there. Maybe I'll even put some more air in it. Let's put more air. Okay. If I can open it. the Florida air. We'll do the same paper since I have it right here. Let's fold this over with a little bit of washing. Today I am using a bright pink and turquoise star washi somebody sent me. You won't be able to see it, sorry. It's right across there. And for the ribbon, we will use some turquoise tulle. We are getting down to the last little bits of this turquoise tulle. Did I cut a big enough piece? Nope, have to save that piece for another person. See if this piece is long enough. somebody else and it's a swimsuit I think we're gonna do a hair tie I should have probably used the green that would have been fun too let's do a bright hair tie let's do a bright green the swimsuit is gold and black and I have neither gold nor black here so we'll do lime green slip in just a little a little foamy. And we'll put this in a poly mailer as it will also go first class mail. Get a big paw mailer and we'll fold it over. Oh, these have gussets on the bottom. That's rather nice. So that could really stand if I needed it to. I don't know why I need it to, but it stands. Give this away. 
10.5 ounces, so we'll round up to 11 and update. My cost is $3.82, and that's probably because Deborah is also in Florida. Let's do a Yahoo quickly, a Yahoo, a Google quickly to see how far she's in Naples. I think Naples is about two hours from us. Two hours, 15 minutes based on current traffic, just in case you're wondering. Purchase and print. And open and print. Thank you, Deborah. And that's all we have for this morning. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Happy Friday morning. It's Friday. Yay. We have seven items to ship, including a vintage dress that sold for $149.99, plus shipping. It's blowing my mind. Okay, let's start with the vintage Jordache jean jacket. I really thought this would bring more. I've had this up for probably four to six months. It has the bow. Oh the zipper and there's bows on the sleeves it didn't i finally took a best offer for 17 dollars uh, this is headed to in texas i don't know what kind of a dress this is i've never seen this i don't actually need to know but i'm just curious pmb number what's a pmb doesn't look like somebody's home address, but it doesn't look like a business dress either. I guess it's just a box office. Huh, PMB. Wonder if this is a government building. Wonder if I just gave out too much information about this person. I don't know. We'll we'll blank out his name. So this is headed to somebody in Texas. They paid $17 plus $10.40 shipping. So I'm assuming this isn't going to fit very well in a flat rate padded mailer, but it's of course over a pound, so it can't go first class. So we'll see our options. This might fit in a padded mailer. I'm trying to fold this so the bows don't get flattened more than they already are. This might fit in a, a padded flat rate. So yesterday, my husband and I took off and cleaned the house and he cleaned the car. Today he has an oil change and he has to, he has an oil change, you know what I mean? The car has an oil change. And he's playing a retirement community and then a pizzeria and they're paying him of course but they're also allowing him to take home a pizza every night he plays and he plays every friday and saturday evening i'm gonna say from like five to eight from now through the middle of next year do you know how many pizzas that is i can't have pizza i can't have pizza i don't know i can't imagine him taking home a pizza <laughs> who are we gonna give all those pizzas to but he'll probably take one for the first few nights at least And let's grab, let's grab a cat print. Oh, I have some new prints, but let's use the cat one. I'm really into the cat one. I was really into the sprinkles. Now I'm really into the cat one. We also unboxed some P.O. box boxes, care packages people sent. So I saved the bits of ribbon. I'm gonna use this one. It's a dark navy blue satin. So that video should be going up next. I think we had five 
that we opened last night and then we previously recorded one that all attached to the back end of that video. And I think that was four or five as well. So we got about 10 packages, which was a lot of fun. I'll have a lot of new shipping stuff here soon. Okay, let's do just one little leaf. I have a bunch of these left. Thank you to the person who sent those. Let's do a tiny little donut card. I love these. They're from Jilson Roberts. The retail on them is 95 cents a piece. I think I got a pack of 12. I'm gonna check, why not? On Amazon, I really watch for Jilson Roberts stuff to go on sale. I'm, I'm looking at Jilson Roberts stuff all of the time, like at least once a week. And so when these little cards went on sale, I grabbed some. Here we are, 12 count, and I paid $1.88 for 12. That was a pretty good deal. And they're currently unavailable, wonder why. Okay, and a business card, I have to get a business card. There we are. Oh, somebody sent me, wonder if I can insert, I'm gonna insert her photo, I'll make sure. Um, somebody sent me a message yesterday. I have to get back to them. If you've sent me a message and it's a few days, please know I get a lot of messages, which is awesome. I read every single one. I get back to every single one. And um, sometimes people need a little bit more attention, like something is going majorly wrong on their end with eBay or Dymo. And so I try to get to those first. I wonder if this is her. Yes. Um, so this is from Terry. She is Moonstone. I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. It's like magic, but instead of the the, the ending C, it's Eek. Magic. I bet you it's Magic on YouTube. Um, and she asked if she could take the saying, which is just a random saying. I'm sure I found. And, and she put it on like this Hawaiian beautiful background, so I'll insert that. Um, so thank you so much for that message. I'm sure I've messaged you back. Okay, we are good to go. Look at those cats. Let's see if this fits in a flat rate. Here we go. My most used priority now. We're good. We're good. We're good. It was made for that. Okay, so I have to change this to carrier packaging, and it's a fourth option down. It is called, it is very enunciated there, USPS Priority Mail Padded Flat Rate Envelope. And my cost is $7.33. Crystal just wrote, hello, Crystal. And open and print. Probably running a little bit behind this morning. I had to wait till my second dose of medication to be able to move around. Thank you so much, person. I'm not gonna say your name, just in case you work for the government and wear a Jordache vintage jacket. That'd be very cool. So it is 9.21 and I scheduled a pickup. So I'll probably print a few and then put them outside. The next item is a wig. This came from the bins. I found two wigs this day, and the first one was human hair. It looked almost exactly the same. I'm guessing these came from the same person as the curls were identical, the color was identical, but this one is synthetic. I did soak these um, with a mild shampoo, just in like a, a bigger bowl. <laughs> Sorry, husband, I cleaned it after that. And um, I'm gonna say they released a little bit of product or dry shampoo or something that turns the water a little bit. 
So I, I did it twice and then I just let it air dry. I put the lace cap on a hanger and just put it in the shower. And the first one sold for the human hair sold for $19.99 plus shipping. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. But again, I paid, I would highly doubt I paid more than 50 cents for this. And I didn't brush through it and I did mention that. I'm going to take out some of the air but not all of it. This will absolutely ship first class because of how light it is. Autumn in off, off camera here, helping me out. And a piece of yellow graphia from Jelson Roberts. How many times can I say Jelson Roberts in one video? a little bit like autumn here Florida autumn it's been in like the mid 80s but the humidity is definitely out I'm gonna throw in a little hair tie maybe those curls need tied up a little bit business card I think I'm gonna trim this one's a little longer there we go. And this is headed to Elijah in North Carolina. And again, for shipping, they paid $4.99. So this is first class mail, meaning it weighs under a pound. It's a lightweight package. And I'm gonna put it in a succulent mailer. I have, I think, three videos to edit, which is good because with my family coming to stay with us next Wednesday, I can't believe it's so soon. Today's Friday, so not counting today, nor counting Wednesday. We have one, two, three, four days. And I'll throw in a photograph. Um, we started to decorate the lanai. It is 4.1 ounces, so we round up to five. That was part of our day off. I don't know why we called it a day off. We did an intense amount of stuff, which is probably why my body was a little bit in shock this morning. They paid $4.99 for shipping and $15 for the wig, and my cost is $3.22. I'll probably make a whole video, I'm definitely gonna make a whole video, just a fun video since I'm doing it anyway, of how we flipped the lanai, which is a completely indoor space tiling, walls, air condition, everything, but it used to be an outdoor space. And about half the villas have been turned into indoor spaces. We live in a community of 76 identical villas. Um, the floor plan is exactly the same, so it's always fun to see somebody else's of how they did it. Because some people have broken through walls and expanded things, and we did a little bit of that in the kitchen. Thank you, Elijah. And so I told my niece we'd turn that into like, she's 10, so like a pre-teen or tween space. I am loving it. I didn't spend a lot, which is my favorite thing in the world, not spending a lot. <laughs> um, and it's turning out so much better than I even thought. And now I'm like, video for sure. Okay, the next item is an Eileen Fisher woman's top right on top <laughs> top on top Eileen Fisher one of their newer new ish labels and it's a light green very lightweight organic cotton I'm pretty sure organic cotton this sold within a week or two Eileen Fisher pieces for me don't do as well if they're really basic which this one was I wonder if we found this at the bins or I found this at the half-off sale I don't know 
but it sold for $11. I sent Elise, love that name, Elise, in Michigan. It's M I. M I state abbreviation. Is it Michigan? Michigan. That really could have been so many things. That could have been Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, all of those states have MIs. Elise in Michigan paid $11. Again, I'm sure I sent her a best offer. And $4.99 for shipping. This is very lightweight as well. I'm going to use this tissue paper. This is definitely a happy birthday celebrate tissue paper, but I really, I'm really, I thought about this way more than I should. I'm okay with using this tissue paper. I bought it to use on eBay. I got it, I'm like, oh, it's a little birthday themed, but it's more of just like a celebration, like happy birthday to me. This is a gift whenever my birthday is. What do you think? Do you think you'd use a happy birthday paper? So festive. I have pearls. Shall I do pearls? A little fake pearls somebody sent me. I'll be excited to edit that video of us opening things. Oh, it's very exciting. Everybody's packaging things so beautifully. Let's see, how are we going to tie these pearls? Can I just do that? Maybe I should put a piece of washi across it just to keep it in place. Oh, that was a good idea. Look how fun that is. It's chalkboard kind of tissue paper. Let's see. Let's do a yellow leaf. This is a light green top. So let's do kind of neutral hair tie for Elise. And put the leaf in the hair tie, that way it stays. <laughs> there we are. And will this fit in here? A hollow mailer, what do we think? This might be too. It's darn it. Let's do the cute little puppy dog print with hands. Santa hats. I forgot the name of Santa there, girl. <laughs> um, so she paid $4.99 shipping. I'm going to guess this weighs six ounces. Point one, so we round up to five. There we are, an update. And my cost is three dollars and twenty-eight cents. Purchase and print. I also this morning, in addition to emails and printing, have to respond on a few comments, YouTube comments, that needed a little bit of help. My demo. Why is my demo label looking weird all of a sudden? That's well, very strange. I'm gonna print it just to show you. Oh no! That's really weird. It printed, it printed perfectly. It's fine. It was showing the, the wrong way, but it printed perfectly, so. I'm really glad I did that. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. That did print, right? Oh, you know what it is? The square QR code is suddenly not square. Huh, that's a weird one. Let's try a few more times of printing that. Yeah, they're all not printed square. on my mind eBay. It's printing as a rectangle all of a sudden, but that's what it's showing. Let's try another one. Thank you, Elise. One more and then I'll put them outside. 
let's do a swimsuit. This is a swimsuit I bought for myself. It's an Ann Taylor Loft. Brand new, never wore it. It still has, ooh, this is, I might replace that. Yeah, let's replace that. It still has the hygienic liner, but um, I'm sure it was just me folding it. It got a little smushed, so let's put a fresh one in. There we are. I keep this on hand. I didn't wash this because I purchased it new. It was just a little, I have a very long torso, I think. So says me. Um, it was just a little bit lower cut than I'm used to. But I love these Ann Taylor swimsuits. They have no binding elastic at the front of the, the hips, the leg opening. Love that. I have two other swimsuits for them and, and they're all I wear at this point. Okay, let's put this in plastic. And this is headed to Leslie in Oregon. Oh, I wonder if Leslie's going on a trip or she also just really likes these swimsuits. And this took a couple of months to sell. It finally sold for $19.99 plus $4.99 shipping. Let's do an emoji. Let's see if I have any other little bits. I do. I have this tool that I had cut last time and it didn't fit. Definitely fits now. I'm gonna put the bow at the back. Just something different. And let's do a hair tie. What color shall we do? Do I have blue? I have dark blue. Is that dark blue? Let's make a hair tie. I get my elastics from Amazon or <laughs> I have found some brand new at the bins and I've also been sent some. I was sent some last night, we opened them and it was a flamingo print, so that's gonna be fun to make a hair tie out of. This one I cut a little bit big, but that's okay. You wanna make it so it fits just loosely on your wrist, not too tight. Give it a good pull and chop off the ends. And then we are going to use our safety lighter and burn the ends a little bit. Just seal in the elastic so it doesn't get frayed. Not afraid, just frayed. And let's pick out a leaf. Do an orange one. And another Polly Miller. Let's go shopping. This one's also going to go first class now because of the lightness. This one's heavier, so I'm going to say 10 ounces. 8.2, so we round up to 9 ounces update and she paid $4.99 shipping and my cost is $4.33. Purchase and print. Let's see what this label looks like. I've noticed that Firefox has updated. This morning when I opened up my computer and turned it on, it is, it's a rectangular QR code, so odd. Notice that the Firefox icon has updated. It's showing on my screen completely that it's not fitting. Landscape? Let's print it and see if it does the same thing. It's printing fine. Yeah, it's a weird one. 
I'm going to put these outside. The USPS drops off um, plastic bins for me. So I put these up outside and then he can just take one of the stack of bins. I'll be back. And ship next to him. Let's straighten up a little bit. Let's do a Dyson part. We found a bag of these at the bins. Oh, I found another bag the other day at a thrift shop. They went to $25. And, and there was only about five or six parts. And they all kind of look like this. I wasn't paying $25. <laughs> I should have asked them for a lower price. But we found a bag of these at the bins. And I paid, I think, $1.59 a pound. So this one's just under eight ounces. So I paid about 75 cents, let's say and sold it within a couple weeks for $15 plus shipping. So shipping is $4.99 and this is headed to Christine in Oregon. Put this in some bubble wrap. And I have a little aqua ribbon that I'm gonna reuse just to keep that around that. Will it fit? It will. Maybe. It's gonna be hard. No, it would have. Just put an elastic around it. But my hands don't wanna tie things that tight. Nope, elastic's not gonna fit either. Next, let's grab one of the silver ribbons. Oh, that's a big piece. This is the silver raffia from the other day. There we are. Sure, not everybody is reusing supplies, but but I got this bubble wrap the other day, and I was like, perfect piece of bubble wrap. And let's put it in some plastic. See if it fits in the, I think it will, the 10 by 13. Good to go. other half of that silver ribbon. And Christine, what would you like? Do a thank you sticker, but let's just slide it under there. That was just a little freebie. Oh my goodness, this little smiling avocado. I might have to keep him. Well, let's do this one. It's a mason jar full of flowers, and these are vinyl reusable stickers. She's getting two stickers and a business card. take out the thank you sticker. She doesn't want a thank you sticker. There we are. And this is headed first class now since it's definitely under a pound. And let's see the pink stylized bunny ears. That's what I'm calling it. under 10 ounces, 9.7 ounces. So we round up to 10 and update. My cost is $4.33, purchase and print. Did I put a leaf 
in that one. I don't think so. This one says lemon, but they covered the N. <laughs> Open label and print and print. This QR code is back to being square. What? Why did we have rectangular QR codes just for two, two or three labels? So weird. Thank you, Christine. I wonder if I should reprint those. I'm going to, not because I need to stick them in the package, but just because I want to see. Just for my own curiosity, I'm going to go back into my shipping labels, which is in the left-hand column on the first page, and just reprint. Oh, it's still rectangular. Huh. Mind-boggling, as they were all first class. Moving on. Ship my next item. Let's do this chic Ralph Lauren top. This, I think I found at that half off Goodwill sale um, where the whole store was half off. And this is wool cashmere. I think it's a 90-10 blend. It is, it's merino wool cashmere. And I listed this for $39.99, and this has a lot of watchers, like 17 watchers. I don't know. Or like a dozen, I have no idea. And this is headed to Donna Marie in Virginia, and it sold for $39.99. It sold for full asking price. I figured it would. It's in really good shape. Um, I have, I don't actually need to do this, but I use this. It's a rechargeable fabric shaver. It works really well. I love that it's cordless. It has a recharging base. I can't remember the last time I've recharged. <laughs> so I really think it's been months. It's holding a charge. Other side. Let's see if it pulls anything off because I've already done this. It really didn't have too much, but let's see. Just take off this top part. Oh, I did collect a little bit. Yeah, just black fuzzes. And let's throw those out before they drop on me. Super nice. I wonder if they still sell these on Amazon. Because I would highly recommend that one. I think I even did a video on it. Let's see how much I paid for that and if they're still selling that fabric shaver. I think they're called. Scroll, scroll, scroll. I bought that one last March of 2018, so I've had it for a year and a half. Oh, I didn't think so. I think I've checked that before. Loyal Fire. Let's just type in Loyal Fire. Loyal Fire Fabric. Let's try that. Nope, can't find them. Sorry guys, I don't know why they stopped selling them. I thought that was the suitable for, what does that say, suitable to use on pillin. <laughs> I wonder if eBay has them. Loyal Fire Rechargeable. Loyal Fire Fabric Shaver. Mine is not branded at all. Nope. Sorry about that. It does work really well if you can find it. So, the first thing we'll do, of course, is fold it. And they paid, I said their, their name, right? Donna Marie, Virginia. They paid $39.99 and $4.99 shipping. It is very lightweight, despite, like, it's a little bulky. It's not super bulky. And I need to go pick up more plastic bags out of my bedroom. I'll be back. I'm back. Put this in. This is a 12 by 15. And I'm going to use tissue paper somebody sent me. Emma? Oh, here it is. It is a metallic metallic silver polka dot there's 
eight sheets in here. So let's separate one. Let's hold that shut with a little bit of washi. Oh no, let's do a thank you sticker. There we are. Roll those for now. And um, let's use, let's use some yellow. that combination. Gray and yellow were the colors of my sister's wedding. She recently celebrated four and a half years. Um, they had a wedding at, what is that called? The government building, I forget. And then they had a giant party a few months later and she let all of the maids wear um, any shade of yellow or gray dresses and it looked so pretty. There we are. Let's do a yellow leaf. Something about yellow and gray looks so modern to me. I'm sure it's not. And let's do a black hair tie to match. Not very exciting, but usable. Oh, it's, it's very classic. Never mind. It looks gorgeous. Usually I use a lot of different prints, but look how beautiful that is. Okay, let's do, let's see if it'll fit. Again, one of my subscribers sent me. Oh, love that, love that, love that. This Polly it should slip right in there. I have so many new Polly Mallers. Thank you so much. Come on. <laughs> there we go. get underneath it. I've never seen this one. It reminds me of my middle name, which is Rose. Melissa Rose. 9.2, so we'll round up to 10. An update. And let's see about the QR code. My cost is $3.96, purchase and print. We have our recycle truck outside. And open and print, come on, and print. We're back to a square QR code. My mail carrier picks up the mail, as you know, and very rarely do we drop it off, but occasionally we do. And they scan this barcode here. They don't actually use the QR code. Um, I've asked. <laughs> and, and so I don't know. I don't know why that is. Okay. Thank you so much, Donna, or Donna Marie, if you go by that. Next and last for today. Oh, I should take that back. This is the last eBay order. I have two items. One is my husband's cell phone that we purchased. We needed new cell phones. We purchased the same make and model. Is that how you say that? Make and model? The same exact phones um, from a seller on eBay who sells a lot of phones. Mint condition. We got it. The pixels were dead in the upper corner. Not a big deal. We could deal with that. But then it started to be really glitchy within a few days and the audio completely stopped working. It'll work for a second and then it'll stop every single time. He brought it into T-Mobile, but it was within a week of us purchasing it. So I apologized up and down to the seller. I, I took photos, I told him what was happening along the way. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> I'll mute that out so it doesn't scare you, but the recycle is here and it scared me. Um, and thankfully they, they took a full return. So we bought him a new one again on eBay and it seems to be working much better. So that's good. So the last item, stop talking me, is a vintage prom dress. 
Ready? I want to try it on. Shall I try it on? I totally want to try it on. And now especially because Misty, who I always screw this up, will I be able to get this right without looking? Thrifty Junker Vintage Hunter. Is that it? Is that it, Misty? Let's type in Misty. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, she's almost at 4,000. That's awesome. She's so wonderful. She had this dress. Not like this exact, but the exact dress back in the 90s for her prom. And she went to the prom with her now husband. And they've been married all this time. So I think I want to take a picture in it. I haven't shaved my leg. I'm still going to take a picture. Okay, I'll be back. I'm back. That only took a few minutes. Oh my goodness. I'm sure it would have been much better had I actually done my hair. <laughs> also, I have no waist in this dress. I don't know why. Okay, so this is shipping to Jessica in Alabama. She should get this pretty quickly then. I'll bow up the hanger strap. There we are. Now, how am I gonna get this to her? One, it has to be in a box so it doesn't crush all of this fabulousness. Do I have a big plastic bag? Something is telling me I do. Okay. Will this fit in here? I don't think so. I think we're gonna have to do um, a trash bag. Trash bag, sorry, Jessica. I wanna keep this really nice though. And then a big box. I probably do a poly mailer, but let's do a box. I'm gonna go get a big box. Okay, first thing to do, well, I'm really washed out. Focus, focus on my face. The first thing to do is to fold this. I think I'll probably bundle it with, let's grab a ribbon. Cut it over some. I think what I'll probably do is just bundle this a little bit with a ribbon just to keep it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Should I do another one? Maybe I'll do another one too. I'm making this up as I go here. I don't ship many huge dresses. I'll do one more. Right around the crinoline. Do you say crinoline or crinoline? I know there's an I, so crinoline. Okay, okay, that's a good start. Now I'm going to put tissue paper as I fold it, I think. Let's do some polka dot. And that way the sequins don't, <laughs> don't crush everything and make a print. I think that's good. I think I'm going to keep doing that ribbon idea. I fold it we'll, we'll kind of tie it that way it stays in place I think this is the first time I've ever used this this ribbon folding idea okay, where is this supposed to be tuck that in okay <laughs> this is what we have so far
I've gotten so many different boxes because I thought this was just gonna be huge. And it's not bad, right? I mean, you couldn't put it in a flat rate, but I'm happy with all of this. I'm gonna have to tape two pieces of tissue together. Let's use real tape. to tape this around the crinoline. <laughs> ribbon. It's a very, very tough decision here. I wonder if I should go with the twine. I think that's pretty. Let's see. I need a big piece. white. I think that's a good, a good choice. Let's tie it on with this little aqua ribbon. Diagonal cut. And my business card. And a few leaves. Okay. There's a lot going on. Now let's put it in the plastic bag.
some washi across that little rosette I made. plastic bag is not the the prettiest but I tried it'll it'll keep it safe now for a box I don't have any exact boxes so I think I'm gonna make one like looking around I think my best option is to make a box I don't even know if that that specifically needs a box but we're gonna box it. So I cut my boxes in half. That way I can make them adjustable. It is so bright and sunshiny out. Let's set one side. not going to fit very well, but we'll tape it up. Even if it just sits on top, it'll give it some protection. Good. Let's get my tape. How are we going to do this? Should we go for one side at a time? That's probably a good way to do it. isn't like the most stunning thing but it's absolutely on all sides packaged and I'm gonna stick it into a giant poly mailer after we get it weighed just to, to give it that finished look oh it's gonna be really close to two pounds polymeller than this, but let's see. That might work. It's a close one. product. We put it in polymeller. I can't believe this fit in here. So it's going to be really close to the two pounds. So let's see if it goes over. It did. It's two pounds 0.5 ounces. So I am going to round up to three. This is only going next date over. So if it would have been two pounds, I'll have to do some measuring. It would have been $7.65 and at the three pounds, it is $8.09. Now we are going to measure the package though. And I'm on eBay. It is 14, six, and 
and 15. So 14 by 15 by six. See if that changes the price. $8 and nine cents. Is that what I said before? $8 doesn't sound like very much, but again, it's only going one state over. So they paid $150 and because of that, and they paid $10.50 for shipping, I'm going to scroll down and add additional shipping. And that took my cost from $8.09 to $11.50. Purchase and print. And that way, if it has any kind of damage, could you imagine if this was damaged? I boxed it and bagged it and tissue papered it and whatever, but you never know. And print. Jessica, I hope you have the most wonderful of times at whatever party you're wearing this to. If it's a Halloween costume, oh my goodness, if you're going to an 80s party, I hope you have a blast. Thank you so much. Okay, I am going to run these outside and I will be right back. Okay, so I have two items left to go, but again, not... Um, eBay items. One is a phone that needs to be shipped back and one is just a personal item that I'm going to send to somebody. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. I think this will probably be the last of this shipping video. No more days. I think it'll be lengthy and kind of fun. I always have fun making them. Thank you for watching and I will probably be turning my store off while my sister, brother-in-law and 10 year old niece are in town. And that way I don't have to worry about shipping. I can just focus on whatever they want to do, any kind of making slime or going to the pool. My body doesn't always do so well when it has a lot to do. So I really want to give it a little bit of downtime and I can, I know I'm privileged in that. So while you're watching this, my store might be off, but it'll be back up eventually. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.